138.8 for the takeover, Tifimo Lopez. And I think Teo, he gonna come back with vengeance and he gonna showcase why he's one of the baddest young men on the planet. Let's get this party started. This is boxing. This is top rank. I look for their soul. I look for their heart. I wanna crush it. I bite it, I eat it. Let them know there ain't no fear in me. But it's a lot of fear in them. Get it. It's the takeover! Yes, sir. Hey, yo! Try to push it on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. Huh? Creating one. Best luck, guys. All right, guys. Later. Hey, when I get up, just grab my phone. And he did. Oh, yeah, hey. Well done. Yeah, man. I got the one on one today with um with ESPN and now the fighters meeting. Um, it was amazing. We always have fun. We always try to keep it simple and um, professional. So I'm just I'm glad we did it today. Also because it's Thursday tomorrow I weigh in and I get tweet. I don't have to worry about coming down, having to do interviews. I just get tweet. <laughs> it's almost time. So now it's all about it's all about business. I feel amazing. Ready for another big show? Man, I'm ready to steal the show, man. Man, Wednesday. I, I ain't worried about anything else. Everything else is done. It's time to have fun. I know what I gotta do in there tomorrow. Today, I'm worried about eating. I would say it's the ultimate professionalism to come in on weight. And uh, Xander is always on point. You know, we're grateful he gets to work with perfecting athletes. They always have him ready. Uh, and he's, he's ready to go. He's already on weight hours ago. Way in day. So only battle that's tough. Other than that, fight nights are always fun. It's always having fun. Tomorrow we have fun. He had a great camp. He really knows himself well, better than he ever has before. He's maturing in that way. And you know, he's under and in great shape. He feels healthy, he's relaxed, he's been eating. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's a great way for him to start at 140. We finish this, we recover, we rehydrate like we normally do. To move up in weight is necessary, you know, really necessary. And this fight, obviously, coming off of the last fight, is going to tell us a lot. But based on this training camp and everything we've seen so far, uh, you know, we're looking for a positive result. We'll find out in about 24 hours. So whenever you go on stage, we're going to want you to pretty much undress, other than boxers and everything. I don't even have boxers. I didn't even bring enough clothes, and I live here. You can go up naked for all I care. I don't mind it. Hey, the ladies will like it, right? We've got a couple out there. Oh. What it's all about. We're having fun. We're enjoying it. And just another step towards a great career. I know what I have to do. Like I said, everything is done. Now, sign away in and have fun tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside Resorts World here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It is now time to weigh in our co-feature. First on the scale from Merida, Mexico, Elias, the Latin kid, Espadas. 153.6. 153.6. 153.6 for the Latin kid, Espadas. And his opponent now making his way to the scale from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Xander Zayas. 
153. 153, 153 on the nose for Xander Zayas. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to weigh in our main event. 10 rounds for the vacant NABF and WBO Junior Welterweight International titles. First on the scale, from Sonora, Mexico, Pedro La Roca Campa. 139.4. 139.4. One thirty-nine point four for La Roca Campa, and his opponent making his way to the stage and taking the scale from Brooklyn, New York, the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez. One thirty-eight point eight. One thirty-eight point eight. One thirty-eight point eight for the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez. One thirty-eight point eight, baby. Like I told everybody, imagine losing. I think it's four point two pounds more. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like we were starving this kid for the freaking like at least four years. I mean, he should have moved up to one forty a long time ago. And um, you can see how healthy he looks. Yeah, he was actually under the one hundred and forty pounds, which makes me think maybe he could still make one thirty-five. But you know what? That's too hard. It's actually asking too much of a kid who's been at 135 for nine years plus. But it's heartening to know that when a guy comes under, it means he's trained well, the weight wasn't as big of an issue. And I'm just looking forward to what awaits Teofimo at 140 pounds. We are here live with Teofimo Lopez eating watermelon. I like to call it Agua Melona. We eat it good, feeling great. Oh man, tomorrow night we're gonna fight fantastic. We're gonna fight excellent. It's all about the showcases, the talent, uh, build the confidence back of Teo. And so, you know, I know he went back to the drawing board and he's gonna come out hard, almost like uh, Tupac did back in the days, boy. You know, we hit him up, you know? <laughs> Tupac wasn't playing, he came back with vengeance. And I think Teo, he gonna come back with vengeance and he gonna showcase why he's one of the baddest young men on the planet. Xander Zayas does everything, everything. Uh, he's everything that you wanna see in a young fighter in and outside of the ring. He's dedicated to the craft. Uh, he's married to the game of boxing, man. Um, you want serious fighters like that. Uh, if, if literally, if I, if I can manage a fighter, that, that's the type of fighter that I will, I will want, is Xander Zayas. Feel good, feel good, you know. Now is when it starts to be hydrated, starts to eat up again, and uh, you'll see it'll fill out by tomorrow. Um, be a completely different person. Uh, so he's ready to go. There you got it, weigh-ins are over with. Now the next thing to do is go out there, have fun, and kick ass. You guys don't want to miss it, catch it live on ESPN. Download the app too, ESPN Plus app. It's only five bucks to watch greatness at, at, at first hand. Come on now, you don't want to miss it. What you doing? What you doing? What you waiting for? Let's go, time!